Today I'm going to show you how to add Photoshop menu items to your TK8 combo or CX panel to really help you speed up your Photoshop workflow. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. This is going to be a good tutorial today because I'm going to show you how to add Photoshop menu items to your TK8 either combo or CX panel. And it'll really help you to speed up your workflow, especially if you like to work with other programs out of uh, Photoshop. Like I like to use like uh, the Nick Collection or Luminar or Topaz Studio 2. Now you can launch those programs right from the TK8 combo or CX panel, which is really nice. Well, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's open up our actions panel. So come up to find the icon. It looks like a little play button. Click that, that'll open up your actions panel. Now let's make a new action set. So click on this group icon right here and let's call it uh, TK8. How about menu items? That way we'll know what's inside of this group and click OK. And then all of our menu items can live inside of this uh, TK8 menu item action set. And then once you're ready to start loading up your combo or CX panel, you'll know where to get those menu items from. Right now what you're seeing is the TK8 instructions manual and I'm just showing you this page because these uh, buttons in the red area here, all this all these buttons with uh, text on them can be used to reprogram even this 100% button as well as these two buttons here, the ACR and this content aware fill button. These buttons can all be used as well as you could program your user actions as well with uh, menu items, which is really nice. And I recommend that you do that as well. But there's a note here. It's best to give the actions that will be associated with the modules button, short names in Photoshop's regular actions panel before associating them with a module button. For some of the smaller buttons, two or three characters are all that will fit on the button. Another option for the small buttons is to give the action a two word name where both words do not exceed three letters. In other words, like my act for my action. On the smaller buttons, this name will be split into two lines, breaking at the space between the words. So that's kind of important. So you want to think about that when you're designing the actions. Well, then let's go ahead and make some menu item actions. Okay, so we just made this uh, action set called TK8 menu items. Okay, so make sure that's selected. And let's click on this plus here. This will create a new action. Now, this is where you want to name it properly, okay? I'm gonna put a Luminar AI action here so I can launch Luminar AI, okay? I'm gonna use uh, that technique where I do uh, L-U-M, three letters, space, A-I, for Luminar AI, and click record. So that's the name of the action, Luminar AI, okay? So that will fit into a space like this, and we'll put it in one of these, okay? But what we wanna do next is, you have to come up here and follow me closely, See this little hamburger menu right here? Just click this. And inside of here, you're going to find insert menu item. It's under stop recording, okay? Right here, insert menu item. Now, that'll be grayed out unless you actually started to make your action, okay? So that's important. So click insert menu item. And now all you have to do is find that menu item. And so that menu item is going to be under Filter and under Skylum Software, Luminar AI right here. And you'll notice right now it says Menu Item, Skylum Software, Luminar AI, and I'll click OK. So there it is right there. And then just click Stop, and you've made that action. Let's go ahead and make a few more, and then we'll start to populate this uh, CX panel with some of these actions but I want you to get your feet wet here first. So let's make another one. So what we need to do next is, first notice we're still inside of this group TK8 menu items, okay, or action sets, okay? And we just finished making this Luminar AI action. So let's make a new action. So come here and click the plus. And now I'm gonna make an action to launch Gigapixel AI. So I'm gonna give it a name, G -I, whoops, G-I-G, all caps, space, capital A, capital I, for Gigapixel AI, and click Record. And now what we need to do is come up to the hamburger menu, click it, and insert menu item. And now we have to go to where Gigapixel AI is. Now it lives under File, 
under automate and there it is right there topaz gigapixel ai so let me click this and there it is it's inside here it's the menu item and i click ok and now i can click stop and so now I have two actions recorded. Luminar AI, Gigapixel AI. Now let's go ahead and add another one. So let's come down and click the plus. And this time I'll make an action to launch Color Effects Pro from the Nick Collection. So what I think I'll do here is give it a name, N-I-K space C-E-P for Color Effects Pro. That makes sense, don't you think? And click on record. And now let's go to the hamburger menu insert menu item you see how easy it is to do then just come up to filter and come to the nick collection and let's find color effects pro 4 which is right here click this and click ok and now i have that one so i have three that i just made and don't forget this step it's easy to do you have to click stop to complete that action that's very important Let's do one more action. Uh, I'm gonna make an action for one of my favorite plugins and that's um, Topaz Studio 2. So I'm still inside of the TK8 menu items action set. So I'm gonna click the plus to add a new action and I'm gonna call this one, uh, I'm gonna call it TS2. And click record. And now let's come up to the hamburger menu insert a menu item and let's go ahead and find Topaz Studio 2 which is right here click OK and then stop alright so now I have these four menu item actions created so now I can go ahead and close this actions panel and now let me go ahead and start to populate this panel with those uh, menu items we just created okay so to do that, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use some of these um, blending mode buttons here, okay? Because a lot of times with my blending modes, I just like to get them right down here anyway, so I don't really need them up here. So I'm going to go ahead and Command or Control click the screen blending mode button, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on my TK8 menu items because that's where my menu items are living inside of that action set. And let's populate this one with Luminar AI. And there it is, just that easy. Let's come to the multiply. Let's command or control click this one and click on TK8 menu items. And this time I'll put um, Gigapixel AI in that one. And on this one, I'm gonna command or control click this and I'm gonna put in Nick Color Effects Pro in that one, okay? And then on this user action down here, I'm going to reprogram that for TS, uh, TS2 or Topaz Studio 2, one of my favorites. So I'm just going to put it in here because I use it a lot. So I'll use that as my main um, user action. So I'm going to command or control click this and open up the menu items and put in TS2 inside of there. And so... Whenever I click this button, it'll launch Topaz Studio 2 for me. It's just that easy, and it really will speed up your workflow. You're going to love it. You're going to have to give this a try. And don't forget your um, user actions. You can command or control click this button and come here and add. Again, you can add uh, menu items in here as well. Let's throw like Luminar AI in here. Okay, so now I have Luminar AI in here. And remember, you can right-click these and give them colors, and which is really nice. Okay, so let's, and I have Gigapixel in here, as you can see. So let me right-click that, and let's give it a color of red. All right, so you can color code all these things. It's super convenient and super helpful. Let's X out of here. Okay, so there's your user actions. But now... If I'm going to launch Topaz Studio 2, I know it's in this user action here, okay? So if I click this, if I'm on a uh, pixel layer like this and I click right here, it'll go ahead and launch Topaz Studio 2, just like that. Isn't that convenient? It's really nice, okay? I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of here for now. Or if I wanted to launch, say, Luminar AI, I'm on this uh, blank pixel layer. I could come up here to Luminar AI, click this, and now I'm launching Luminar AI. And it's just that easy. 
and it's really going to help you speed up your workflow. So you're going to have to give this a try. And let's just go ahead and throw some action, or not an action, but let's just throw a preset on here. Let's go to Big City Lights here. And let me put on this one called City Thrills and click Apply. And we'll send that back into Photoshop. But it'll really, like I say, speed up your workflow and it'll just make things a lot more convenient for you. So you want to give it a try. So here's the before and here is the after. So just like that, but now you know how to uh, program menu items into your combo or CX panel. Well, there you go, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today, and I hope this will really help you out. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.